What's up guys, my name is Ellis Stevens. I'm a motor control software engineer here at Atlas Motor Vehicles. and I'm being pulled away from my vital work so that I can give you guys the weekly recap. So moving over to the energy sector, they're making their final decisions on the type of composite that they want to use in the AMV cube cell. And that's just super exciting because it means over the next couple of weeks as we expand our dry room, we're going to be able to begin manufacturing and testing those cells in house again. And that's incredible for our production intent. Uh, moving over to the XT and the XP platform, uh, we're currently finalizing our design on the Omega board. And what this means is that we're gonna have one single board and chip design for all of our software needs within the vehicle. Now this is completely different from what you see in a conventional vehicle, which would have tens of these different kinds of boards, which would diversify not only the hardware, but all of the different software requirements that go into actually running the vehicle. Whereas by having just one singular board, we're gonna have much clearer modularity, and it's going to make it much more efficient for us guys on the software side. Now clearly behind me, you can see us making the final adjustments to our control algorithm to make sure that we are hitting our maximum performance out of the prototype before we and the company as a whole move on to our production intent. Now before you go and write in the comments that we're just starting all over, this is not the case at all. What we're doing is we're taking everything that we learned from writing this prototype and actually uh, moving into designing our requirements for our production intent. Now, what are requirements? Well, instead of just jumping in and starting our design from any which way, we need to make sure that as a company, we hit all of the different criteria that we wanna see, both in performance, safety, and efficiency out of our vehicle. So we're gonna take all of the lessons that we learned from this prototype and actually put them into our final design to make sure that we are hitting our peak efficiency, safety, and performance. And this doesn't mean that we're gonna be starting all over again. And it does also means that this vehicle that you see behind me is not what you're gonna be buying off the lot. It's gonna be an improved version. So you guys should all stay, stay tuned and stick around because we're gonna have many more recaps and very soon a fully fledged vehicle.